Well, hello there, YouTube. Petey Two Finger here. How the heck are you? I'm doing pretty good. I was editing some video. I was rendering video today, and I went over on YouTube. I'm looking around. I found some demo videos for the Boss SY1. Looks like it just came out two days ago, maybe. A lot of the videos are on the 17th of July, 2019. Today's the 19th of July, and the, the Boss SY1 is a synthesizer pedal. It's, I believe, it's polyphonic. And the thing about the uh, synthesis is usually you need a special six or hexaphonic six pickups with a special cable. It's, but it's got a box converter box. And I'll go to like a rack mount unit or a floor unit, uh, a big thing that's really expensive. The pickups like a couple hundred dollars because it comes with a special 13 pin cable. It has the uh, adapter box, the switching system, volume knob for the synth. And you buy all that, you buy the synth unit, which will have two parts, it'll have the tracking section, which converts what you're playing into what the synthesizer can understand, and then the sound module. And that's basically one of their keyboards, Roland's keyboards, minus the keys, they just take the sound engine out of it and put that in that floor box or rack mount unit. I say rack mount because I'm back from the GR50 days, uh, made famous by Adrian Ballou, he was using the GR50. And I think a lot of people hear a guitar synthesizer and they think, man, I, my, the possibilities would be limitless. And I got to get one and try it out. And uh, that doesn't pan out most times. You, For me, I felt that I had to run, it was rack mount, and I had to run a whole second pedal chain for the synth. I found that my favorite patch was a velocity sensitive octave flute. So when you picked really hard on a note, it would go up a fifth or an octave, uh, depending on how hard you picked. So that would be like a lead tone, and I would have half my guitar sound coming through half this goofy flute. And I would run that flute through a cocktail all the way back to trim some of the high end off of it. And then uh, like a big muff with a scoop DQ and a chorus that's not moving to kind of double it a little bit and then some reverb and a delay and that like but how would you use that for live for live i played bass on a on a strat and i would use bass tones on the guitar set then i would cut all the mid-range and treble off of those synth sounds because they sounded synthy but if you just had the bass frequencies it sounded good it sounded like bass notes so that left the guitar, and I evolved into using uh, big speakers, amps, cabinets for the bass with 15s, of course, going into the PA with a, via direct box, and then for the guitar, I used a JC120 amp, which is stereo, 2x12, very bright amp, 60 watts per channel, Roland, solid-state amp, and I would use that built-in chorus, and I would have a backwards, a reverse delay with a reverb and like we would play fool for your stockings and uh dun, 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 dun. and then there would be for the uh the chorus and i would kick that guitar would come on and it would have that reverse thing looping in time with it it would flip the guitar notes around and man it was just the coolest most psychedelic effect and i would use that on a few songs that where I could get it in sync, you know, with just twisting the knob, mark it. So that was how I used my guitar synth. I used it for, for live. It was always used for bass notes. Uh, and then in the studio, it was for piano, drums, and other instruments. Now, uh, the Boss SY1 has arrived. It's a $200 Boss Compact pedal that does everything. You just need, you don't need the goofy pickup. You just need a regular guitar cable. Your normal guitar pickup will work, and it does polyphonic, meaning you can play a chord. Because uh, they had some guitar pedal synth stuff that was only one note at a time. You could only use it for lead. If you played two notes, it would glitch out, you know. Uh, and monophonic synths are okay. I have one in my Zoom G3, which I need to get in there and write some stuff for that. But in any event, uh, there is another one that's made by the same company, Roland or Boss, that came out a few years back. It's relatively new. And it's called the GY300, or is it the GS? It's not the GR. The GR300 was a big blue box, and that was the first guitar synth uh, that was really 
that made an impact that anybody really recorded with on any albums. Used by Robert Fripp and Adrian Ballou uh, back in the King Crimson in the 80s. Um, and it had a real cool, like a ree, like kind of a nasally, like a zerna, if you know what that sounds like. Uh, Middle Eastern type of stuff goes really well with it. And then Baloo had a band called The Bears, where there was an, another guitar synth player. They both had guitar synths. They did some cool stuff in that band. That's probably the best guitar synth band if you're into that stuff. Uh, Adrian Baloo's The Bears. They have two albums, Rise and Shine and Self-Titled. Uh, so I think a lot of people bought guitar synthesizers thinking that they were going to do something else than what they do when they didn't realize. It is exactly what it says. It's a synth. It plays organ sounds or synthesizer sounds along with your guitar. So if you're thinking that it's gonna, gonna synthesize your guitar into something trippy, it's not. It plays, you know, organ or if you have a general MIDI set, that was, was real popular for a while. So like the GR50 was a general MIDI synth. So it's traditional stuff. Now I found like you know, the flutes, the strings, the uh, like calliope type sounds or chaff organ, chaff organ, glass organ, these certain types of sounds really worked well with the guitar. And Rob Fetters, uh, the guy in the Bears, he went on a band called the Psychonauts, he used it, he used a lot of the same sounds. Just because just the other stuff doesn't really work. It just doesn't. Um, now, Talking about the SY100, the downfall of this $200 compact pedal is going to be that Boss is picking the sounds for it. You're not going to be able to pick the sounds, as far as I know. And there's a limitation to that. If you get the big expensive guitar synthesizer kit with the big, big thing, expensive thing, and the goofy pickup, the Fishman has a wireless MIDI setup that's wonderful. Jennifer Batten demos that. You have a huge variety of sounds, but I'm guessing that Roland is going to pick just the stuff that they think works really well. So I'm sure there'll be a, an organ that has a Leslie sound on it. There'll be some strings. There'll be some cool uh, guitar synth lead sounds. And probably they'll probably have that GR300 sound on there. They better. Because that's the one that when you think of guitar synth, that's what you think of. That first one. So... I definitely want to run into one of those. Uh, would I go out and buy it now? No way. No way. $200, no way. Would I get it used? I can get a deal on it. It's the kind of thing of, you know, it's, it's like the, the, what is that, Korg Miku? It's like that. You know, are you really going to use it? Well, maybe you could. Maybe you could incorporate it. And hats off to you if you can. So. It's, it's a weird type of thing. You know, you really want it, but when you get it, it's like, what am I going to do with this thing? I, when we were, I was doing Pipe Organ Entry, Your Time is Gonna Tom, Come by Led Zeppelin. Um, I was able to incorporate it, you know, and do some stuff with it, but I mostly use it as a recording tool. Now, in my, uh, I love my Zoom G1 ON and my Zoom G3. G3 is a monophonic synth. Today I made a patch on the Zoom G1 with this particle reverb patch. It's not a synth, it's called particle reverb. And it, basically what you do, you go into the stock settings and you turn up the dwell and you turn up the, turn down the gain a little bit. Uh, there's three settings. There's like normal, caution, and hazardous. You keep it on normal. And then all the other stuff is basically to your preference, stereo or not. I threw a, uh, a delay with about 550 milliseconds of repeat uh, with a not uh, about a third feedback and about a third of the mix and then a light chorus so this is that sound oh, well. this is that sound it's it's a uh, it swells in so it's kind of you have to play to it
or for recording it would even be more wonderful for an intro uh, for a lead bed for an outro you could do a whole work a whole piece around that especially in a if you're in a band with multiple guitars now that uh, the sound is coming out that's a toy amp it's a kitty it's something a power tour guitar which is a plastic guitar that uh, kind of just played it had a fretboard a 12 mil fretboard and it played stuff uh, and they, they sold this power tour amp which takes double A batteries and that's the amp that's the amp that I use it's a powered speaker and I run my zoom G G one O N through that it's a tiny thing and I'm able that's just my little setup for playing guitar in the living room so I don't really bother the neighbors the G3 doesn't have the particle reverb setting on it but it does have the monophonic sense so with the S1 coming out rather than running out and thinking about getting one or something like that, I figure I'm just going to maybe play around with what I already have. And that'll probably scratch that itch. And in the meantime, definitely going to head over to Guitar Center or Sam Ash and, and demo it and try it out. And I encourage you to uh, take a look today at some of the SY1 demos that are up on YouTube. So I was just excited about that and I want to share that with you guys. I also I edited a video today called Sourdough. It's kind of a sad thing for me it's i wrote it about my feelings on losing our our cat we lost this my, my friend my best friend augustus the black cat and if you've been around if you've been a, one of my like subscriber people that have been around you remember him he passed away um 2016 i don't know it was really sad it was i was working on that album um, it might have been in 2017 and right when I was finishing the album, he was sick. He was sick for about a week, and we lost him. So that sourdough song is just kind of, it has that feel to me. I wrote it around the time when I was recovering from that. And that's just what I relate that song to. And that's why when you when I, you see me playing it, I'm, I'm, my head's moving all around. It's because I'm trying to compose myself. <laughs> so we have Kita. That's our new black cat who lives with us. The demon. And uh, I got to, oh, here he comes. Here comes Kita. You can say hi to Kita. He's always, Lex wants to be in one of the videos. I don't have to be there. I don't have to be there. Hi, he's a nice boy. He's a Chantilly boy. That's a breed. Chantilly. All right, you guys, uh, check out the uh, video that I uploaded today. Uh, that I edited that I'm going to be uploading that in a minute, uh, Sourdough, and I'll see you around. Make sure you check into the Boss SY1. Let me know what your thoughts are on that.